everyone. For today's lesson, we're going to study force and motion. Let's observe the pictures. The boy pushed the wheelchair to move. A basketball player take a shot. His hand pushes the ball into the air to score a basket. A builder pulls a bucket of supplies up to where he is working. A boy catches a fish. He uses his fishing pole to pull the fish out of the water. A girl learns to ride a bike. Her dad pushes the bike so that she moves forward. Everything we just described applied force. When we say force, force is a push or a pull. For example, we have this ball. Pull is when you bring an object towards you, just like this. While push is when you move an object away from you. In humans, we use force for our daily activities. For example, hugging your friend, throwing your garbage, doing some chores, pulling your bag, and even helping your mom washing the dishes. These are some examples of daily activities that we use force. When force is applied to an object, motion is produced. When we say motion, it is a change in the position or direction of an object. It is a movement from one place to another. And also, every activity we do has motion. You need force to change motion. For this ball to be put in motion, force needs to be applied to it, just like this. Let's see how motion occurs. Are you ready? Let's have the first example. Look at the boy kicking the ball. The motion occurs here is movement from one place to the other. Let's have another example. An apple fell on the ground. This is a movement from one place to the other. Next, walking. The motion occurs here is movement from one place to the other. How about if we have this? As you can see, the movement of this one is in circular mode. So the motion occurs here is rotational motion. Let's have another example. Again, this is an example of rotational motion. The movement is in circular mode. So now, let's study the pictures below and identify how motion occurs if it is movement from one place to the other or rotational motion. Are you ready? Let's have this. Is it movement from one place to the other or rotational motion? That's correct children, the answer is movement from one place to the other. How about this one? That's correct. The answer is rotational motion. How about if you have this? Very good. The answer is rotational motion. 
How about if you have this? Yeah, job children, this is movement from one place to the other. How about if you have this? Very good. The answer is movement from one place to the other. So now let us identify these daily activities that show objects being pushed or pulled. Let's have the first one. Is it push or pull? Very good. The answer is pull. How about if you have this? Is this push or pull? Good job, children. This is push. How about if you have this? Is this push or pull? Good job. This is pull. How about if you have this? Very good, children. This is push. How about if you have this? Good job, this is push. So now, let us apply what you have learned by completing the missing word on each sentence. Are you ready? So when blank is applied to an object motion is produced, what is it? Very good, that is force. How about in number 2? Blank is a change in the position or direction of an object. Good job children, that is motion. How about in number 3? Once you apply force, the object may move away from you and this act is called... Very good, that is cool. How about this? While an act of moving an object towards you is called? Good job, that is push. In relation to motion, blank determines how fast an object changes its position. That is? Yay, that is speed. So if the speed is zero, then there is no motion. That's all for today, children. See you next time. Bye!